I want to shoot, baby. Kind of lonesome back here. A little help here. Oh. Excuse me. Woo. Dopinda. Pool. Dead. Why the fancy red suit, Mr. Pool? Oh, that's because it's Christmas Day, Dopinda. And I'm after someone on my naughty list. You're probably thinking, this was a superhero movie, but that guy in the suit just turned that other guy into a fucking kebab. Surprise. This is a different kind of superhero story. To tell it right, we gotta take you back before I squeeze this ass in spandex. Mr. Wilson, you've recently been diagnosed with terminal cancer. We can fight this. What if I told you we can cure you and give you abilities most men only dream of? I'd say that you sound like an infomercial, but not a good one, like Slap Chop, more Shake Weighty. If I never see you again, know that I love you. When I'm finished, your mutated cells will heal anything. But you still think we're making you a superhero? We're making you a super slave. Oh, come on. Are you gonna leave me all alone here with Jose Canseco? Whatever they did to me made me totally indestructible and completely no. unfuckable. You, you look like the inside of other people's assholes. I didn't ask to be super, and I'm no hero. But when you find out your worst enemy is after your best girl, the time has come to be a fucking superhero. <laughs> ah, right up Main Street. Hear the music. Exco, give it to you. Ah. Fuck, wait for you to get it on your own. Exco, deliver to you. We can't allow this, Deadpool. I don't have time for your X-Men bullshit, Colossus. Besides, nobody's getting hurt. That guy was up there before we got here. Knock, knock, open I played a lot of roles. Damsel in distress ain't one of them. Time to make the chimmy fucking changas. Have you seen this man? I never say this, but don't swallow. Shit. Did I leave the stove on? Give it to you. Yeah, you're way too much dude for me. That's why I brought him. I mean, that's why I brought her? Oh, no, finish your tweet. It's not, it, that's fine. Just give us a second. Go get her, tiger. Oh, I so pity the dude who pressures her into prom sex. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Merry Christmas. So they dropped the Deadpool Red Band trailer like literally at 12.01 this morning. I should have known they were going to do something crazy. So let's break it down. Normally I wouldn't say this, but don't swallow. Coolest new thing in this trailer is just watching Negasonic Teenage Warhead get to take Gina Carano down like a sack of potatoes. Now it's just like a small change from the comics because she's mostly like a telepath that gets premonitions. So I think what they've done in the movie is just tune her powers a little bit from the comics. Now Gina Carano is playing Angel Dust, another comic book character, re relatively minor comic book character that was part of the Morlocks. So she's pretty on point, just a little too much dude in her for Deadpool. I do like the Colossus takedown, like the way they play with your expectations. Like, oh Colossus is just gonna like squash her like a grape. Oh, nope, I guess it's gonna be the really angry teenager. Most of the other new scenes are just to add some more context, just to give you an idea for the, the tone of the movie. You know, very funny, but there's that line that Deadpool has. This isn't that kind of superhero movie. He's, you know, he's just like letting you know that this isn't like your typical superhero story. Technically, he is a hero, but he does very bad things. So he's more of an anti-hero, like the ultimate anti-hero for Marvel. Somewhere in the background, you can hear Rob Liefeld laughing his ass off. Hell yeah, best anti-hero in the Marvel Universe. Liberal butt shot in spandex, just making fun of the costume a little bit. You really can't do like a new, you know, big comic book character without having him make fun of his comic book costume at least a little bit. My favorite one is Wolverine making fun of the costumes in Brian Singer's original X-Men film. What, would you rather they be yellow spandex? Somewhere animated Wolverine is just crying himself to sleep in his bed. A couple other randos from the Weapon X program show up, and it, it looks like the, the way they explain Deadpool's scarred face is that it happens when he torches the Weapon X program and then just regenerates. Like, nothing can kill me. So just to explain why Deadpool's face is so messed up, and it, it doesn't heal, if he has like a healing factor that's more powerful than Wolverine's. You know he has cancer all over his body, like tumors all over his body. So it's the tumors that are causing the scars on his face. He had those before he got the healing factor. And what the healing factor does is restore him to that state. 
So even if you were to cut all the cancerous tumors out of his body, they would instantly grow back because of the healing factor. So it's kind of a catch-22. Like, yeah, he has this crazy healing factor. You could cut his head off, he'd still be alive. But he's always going to have that messed up face, as he says, that makes him undateable. Now, if you read Secret Wars, the Secret Wars, you know, big storyline, in that Deadpool's face does get healed. He has this really crazy 70s handlebar mustache. It, just, it was like the freakiest thing the first time I saw it. I was like, oh my god. That's kind of a special case. Normal Deadpool looks just like this. You're just completely messed up face. The inside of some other dude's asshole. New favorite weasel line. Like the inside of someone's asshole. If you remember the old trailer, there's actually, whenever he's up with Gina Carano, whenever she punches him in the face when he's in the chair, don't leave me alone with her. That line was actually different in a previous trailer. So I cannot wait to see like the hundreds and hundreds of takes that they had where they just tried different one-liners. Maybe they'll put them on the DVD. I, th I think that they just want like different ones for the green band trailer and different ones for the red band trailer. Like just varying degrees of WTF. We get to see him make his costume, start going after the other Weapon X people. Don't have time for your X-Men bullshit. I wonder if Professor X actually sent Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead to like make sure Deadpool doesn't completely destroy the city. Somewhere there's a ball of James McAvoy and Cerebro just shaking his head at Ryan Reynolds. Seriously, dude's got no chill. They keep including this bridge scene too. This was actually part of the original test footage. They, I mean, they completely redid it, made it look way better, expanded on it. This was what they used to pitch the Deadpool movie to Fox executives originally, like way, way back in 2011, where they're like, here, this is what the movie's gonna look like. Please green light this. And it, and it sat on a shelf forever until it was leaked at Comic-Con 2014, and then everybody went crazy. Fox was like, oh, wow, we should make this movie. And then, you know, cut to now, where we actually get the movie. So actually a pretty awesome trailer, pretty nice thing for them to drop on Christmas Day. So just given the energy that I'm seeing from this, I think the movie is going to be great. I think it will definitely do good enough to merit a sequel, but we probably won't find out about that till like after it hits theaters, like after a couple weeks. Like I think the only reason that Fox has already greenlit the next Bryan Singer X-Men film is because they feel like he's so reliable as a director. Like even if it doesn't make $5 billion, it's still going to be profitable. So they're just like, okay, even though your next sequel hasn't come out, even though Apocalypse hasn't come out, we're going to go ahead and get you started working on the next film after that. It just gives Brian Singer, like their creative team, more time to get ready, like as they start to work on scripts, to lock down actors. So then when it actually is time to start rolling cameras and like, you know, actually working, they don't have to like scramble to try and get people. And don't forget, Hugh Jackman and Jennifer Lawrence are both leaving the franchise. Michael Fassbender might stick around and obviously Apocalypse isn't going to be killed off. Like he might not be in every single movie, but he's, he's too powerful for you to kill off. So for the most part, the X-Men franchise, like the X-Men universe that Fox has will look fairly similar for the next movie after Apocalypse. But hopefully you guys are having an awesome holiday. I have a whole bunch of more footage to get through. So there should be at least like one more video tonight and then a couple videos tomorrow and the day after that. I'll be taking a vacation for like a day or two at the end of the month. But other than that, I've got a bunch of Arrow footage. I've got a bunch of Legends of Tomorrow footage, new Flash footage. That's actually probably going to be later tonight. And then there's new Doctor Who stuff. So if you're wondering when videos are going to post, just follow me on Facebook and Twitter. There are links for that at the bottom of the description. In case you guys haven't seen, I just did a whole bunch of Star Wars Kylo Ren Easter eggs. You can click here for that video, and you can click here for my top 10 Deadpool funny moments. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's have five. I'll see you guys tonight.